The strawweight division is is a bit open. Angela Hill's the champion. You know, there isn't a clear number one contender at 115 pounds. One or two solid wins can really go a long way for an athlete to, you know, really sort of raise their hand and say, I should be next in line. Um, you did your part in the Surreal fight. Now you're taking on uh, Manji Kolokar. Looking at uh, Kolokar, a lot of unknown about her. She's undefeated, you know, getting that record in India. Were you able to do uh, a lot of tape study? And, and if so, how do you expect to uh, really have her attack you? And uh, what, do you, what do you expect from her on Friday night? Well, TJ, I mean, it doesn't really matter how many fights she has. If I couldn't get a lot of from her, what she have done back there, I trust myself first. I trust my team. I trust my, uh, my camp, my trainer partners. So as long as I get myself prepared physically and mentally, that's all matter. Don't matter how many fights you have, don't matter how many wins you have in your background. So I'm always gonna be ready for the best fighter coming facing me, and then I'm trying to be the better in that night. If you're able to take Kolokar out the way that you dismantled Surio, I mean, you might be knocking on the door of a title fight. Have you thought about that at all? Do you feel that if you get this win, that maybe you say something on the microphone that, you know, markets yourself you know, closer to the top of the card? I'm just going to be here doing my job, winning fights, put the money in my pocket, and then get another win in my record. And then for the fight, uh, the title fight uh, coming sooner, hey, I'm ready. Let's do this!